welcome to home cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Today I am going to show you how we can make fresh creamy and nice thick curds at home and we are going to set it in a mud pot. So you can see how I have done it here. I had asked you guys if you wanted to know how to make curd in a mud pot and many of you all had responded in the comment section and requested me to make this. So here it is, this is what I am going to show you guys today. So you can see I have a set of three uh, mud pots here with lid. I actually purchased them a while ago and uh, they've been very handy, very useful for me in the kitchen and I regularly use them. So in case you find something like this, I highly recommend you purchase it. And I'm also going to give you a couple of tips as to how you can prepare these mud pots for your regular use in the kitchen. So why wait, let's get started and check it out. When you buy a new mud pot, what you need to do is, these are some of the basic things that you can do. Just wash with some warm water. Do not use very hot or boiling water because it can crack the pot. So just use warm water and wash it. And you can also pour the warm water and let it sit at least for a day. So when you wash these mud pots, make sure you use a very mild soap or detergent to wash it. Another way is to use salt and you can scrub it in case there are some oil stains or something you can use salt and you can scrub it. Do not use anything harsh, any harsh chemicals or any harsh or strong soaps to wash your mud pots. I hope these tips are useful to you and you can start using your mud pots regularly at home. So now let's start and make these curds and set it in this beautiful mud pot. The first step is to boil the milk. Now I have taken full cream milk or full fat milk to make the curd so this is going to make your curd nice and rich and creamy take a nice deep saucepan like this so now let's just wait for the milk to come to a boil the milk is almost coming to a boil so there you go it's coming up so i'm just going to turn off the stove right now so now we need to cool the milk just a little bit. Do not bring it to room temperature or cool it completely. It should be a little more than warm. So we'll wait for that and uh, let's just cool it down a little bit now. The milk has cooled down considerably. Now I have two big bowls here or vessels here that I will be using to mix the milk with the curd. So now I have taken three tablespoons of nice fresh and thick curd to make this. So I'm going to add this to one of the vessels. Just add a little bit of milk and whisk this nicely so that it's nicely blended with the milk. So you can see it's all nice and creamy now. Now I'm going to add the rest of the milk. So like I said, the milk is just a little more than warm. It's nice. Now once you've poured all the milk, using the other vessel, I'm just going to mix it nicely. So this is something that my mother taught me, I learned it from her. Setting curd this way and uh, ever since I've been doing it this way, the curd sets beautifully. So for one liter of milk, I've taken about three large tablespoons of curd. But if you're using less quantity of milk, make sure you adjust the quantity of curd accordingly. So you can see I've prepped the mud pot very nicely here. Now pour the prepared milk mixture. So I have a, just a little bit of the milk and curd mixture. I have a small cup here. I'm going to pour into that. This is for me, I will set it and enjoy during my break. The process of making the curd is all done. I have poured it into the mud pot. Now we'll just have to wait for about six to eight hours for the curd to set. So when you're setting the curd, make sure that the room or the space that you're keeping it in is nice and warm. You don't want to keep it in a cold room because it will take much longer to set. So after eight hours, Let's check on the curd. Wow, look at this. It's set so beautifully, it's so perfect. Nice and thick. Now, when you set curds like this, 
in a clay pot or a mud pot it doesn't become sour too quickly and it remains fresh for a longer period of time and it also takes a longer time to set because we're using the clay pot but if you're setting it in a steel vessel or a glass bowl it takes shorter time uh, about three to four hours maybe uh, depending on the weather conditions now i have made several curd based recipes i'll give you all the links in the description do check them out Curd has a rich source of calcium and hence it is very good for your bones and teeth and it is also good for your gut health. So consuming curd regularly is very good for you. So here I have set up a little bit of curd in an individual bowl and it's time to taste. That's so fresh, creamy, rich, and it's so refreshing. Perfect for the summers. I hope this video has been useful to you. And now you can set your own thick curd at home in a mud pot. I'll catch you guys in another episode of the how-to series. See you guys soon. So for more exciting and wonderful recipes, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to get your notifications. You can now buy the second edition of our home cooking book at shop.homecookingshow.in.